Hello viewers who have visited the Health Fitness 1047 channel. Today there is the following main The 2024 Paralympics in Paris commenced on August 28, featuring 22 sports and 549 events over 11 days. Team Wu's men's wheelchair basketball team kicked off their campaign with a hard-fought 66-56 victory against Spain. The match was closely contested, with Spain leading 32-29 at half-time. However, Team USA regained control in the second half maintaining a lead despite a late push from Spain. Jake Williams led the team with 22 points. The win positions Team USA favorably for their next game against the Netherlands. Additionally, the women's team secured a strong 73-44 victory against Germany. Simone Biles and Caitlin Clark meet for the first time. Simone Biles and Caitlin Clark met for the first time on August 28 at a WNBA game between the Indiana Fever and the Connecticut Sun in Indianapolis. The Indiana Fever shared a social media video showcasing the joyful meeting, where Biles and Clark greeted each other with enthusiasm, celebrating the team's victory. Both athletes, along with track star Gabby Thomas, took photos with the Fever players, who expressed their excitement. Simone highlighted the warm reception from the team, contrasting it with her usual interactions with male athletes. Biles recently added more medals to her Olympic collection, while Clark has emerged as a star in the WNBA after being the first overall pick. Fans expressed their delight over the encounter, calling it precious and noting the significance of legends meeting legends. LeBron James announced that his son Bronny cannot call him, Dad, while they are on the court together during the upcoming NBA season. In a teaser for Uninterrupted's The Shop podcast, LeBron emphasized maintaining a professional relationship, suggesting alternative nicknames like 2-3, Bron, or G-O-A-T. He expressed excitement about making history as the first father-son duo to play in a regular season game together and described it as the greatest accomplishment of his career. While Bronny had an uneven debut in the NBA Summer League, he previously averaged 4.8 points at USC. The new NBA season starts on October 22, marking LeBron's 21st year in the league. Alona Ma on Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Cover Alona Ma, a standout rugby player and Olympian, has made her debut as the cover star of the September digital issue of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit. This recognition comes after she led the U.S. rugby team to its first ever medal at the Paris Olympics. SI Swimsuit editor MJ Day praised Ma's impact as a symbol of change that celebrates athleticism and empowerment. At 28, Ma is also a social media influencer, boasting 3.8 million Instagram followers and gaining popularity through her TikToks during the Olympics. She uses her platform to advocate for women in sports, addressing issues like salary disparities between male and female athletes. Ma's confidence around body image and strength defies stereotypes associated with female athletes, emphasizing the capabilities of women's bodies beyond objectification. After Team Wu's victory over France in the Paris Olympics, which secured their fifth consecutive gold medal in men's basketball, Anthony Edwards revealed that he, Kevin Durant, and Stephen Curry were subjected to drug tests immediately following the game. During an appearance at Fanatics Fest, Edwards humorously noted that their celebrations were interrupted by this requirement, highlighting Curry's impressive performance of 24 points in the final. The random drug testing is standard practice for athletes after standout performances, particularly in high-stakes situations like the Olympics. This win marked a significant achievement for Team USA, further solidifying their dominance in Olympic basketball. Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese make WNBA history in rookie seasons. 
In a remarkable day for rookies in the WNBA, Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese made headlines with record-breaking performances. Clark led the Indiana Fever to a 92-75 victory over the Seattle Storm, setting a new league record for most assists by a rookie in a single season with 232 in her 28th game, surpassing Ticha Penichero's long-standing record. Clark finished the game with 23 points, 9 assists, 5 rebounds, 2 blocks, and 1 steal. On the other hand, despite the Chicago Sky's loss, Reese made history by becoming the fastest player to achieve 20 double-doubles in a single season after just 27 games. She scored 19 points and grabbed 20 rebounds, bringing her closer to Tina Charles's record for most double-doubles in a rookie season. With their standout performances, both players are strong contenders for the Rookie of the Year honors as they continue to shine in their inaugural seasons. Olympian Noah Lyles recently revealed that he grew up in a super strict cult during an interview on the Everybody Wants to Be Us podcast. The 27-year-old track and field star, who won gold men's 100-meter race at the 2024 Paris Olympics, described the controlling environment of the cult, which mandated homeschooling and dictated personal relationships. This upbringing complicated his understanding of faith and left lasting impacts on him and his family particularly his mother. Despite these challenges, Lyles found success in athletics, emphasizing the importance of seizing opportunities as they come. His revelations followed his impressive performances at the Paris Games, where he also secured a bronze medal in the men's 200-meter race while battling COVID-19. Anna Barbosu received her bronze medal for the women's gymnastics floor exercise at the 2024 Paris Olympics during a ceremony in Bucharest on August 16. This medal was awarded after Team Uzi's Jordan Chiles was stripped of her bronze due to a ruling by the Court of Arbitration for Sport, CAS, which stated that the USA Gymnastics appeal was submitted late. Following the medal reallocation, Anna expressed her thoughts on social media emphasizing the importance of the Olympic spirit and acknowledging both Sabrina Voynia and Jordan. Jordan, reflecting on her experience, criticized the decision as unjust and highlighted the racial harassment she faced online. She pledged to pursue justice regarding the situation. Stephen Nedoroshik's Rubik's Cube Challenge on Jimmy Fallon, USA Gymnast Stephen Nedoroshik celebrated for his bronze medal win on the pommel horse at the 2024 Paris Olympics, showcased his talent by solving a Rubik's Cube in 15.42 seconds during an appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Known for his scholarly look, Ned Oroshik has been solving the cube since he was 12. His performance drew cheers from the audience and highlighted his competitive spirit beyond gymnastics. He shared insights about his journey to mastery in both pommel horse gymnastics and solving puzzles, crediting a club coach for igniting his passion for gymnastics that led him to college at Penn State.